Walt Disney is a legend known among all people, but the start of his career wasn't always the easiest. Walt Disney and his brother Roy first came to California in 1923. Many people believed his first cartoon was Mickey Mouse, but in reality, his first cartoon was about a little girl called Alice's Wonderland. Alice was played by Virginia Davis, who was surrounded by cartoons. Alice's Wonderland was a comedy in a series called The Alice Comedies. Soon after presenting his ideas, he became an instant hit, which started the Disney Company. Alice's Wonderland was on air for four years, but in 1927, Walt Disney decided to do an all-cartoon series. His new character was named Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. He only made 26 episodes with Oswald because he soon found out that he did not own the right to his character. Because of this, Walt Disney decided to create his own studio. One of Walt Disney's greatest inventions was the theme park Disneyland. He wanted to create a park where both parents and children could go to have a good time. Walt Disney once said, Disneyland would never be completed as long as there was imagination left in the world. New rights are being added to Disneyland regularly. The most famous of all Walt Disney's creations was the cartoon Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse was created in 1927 in his original show called Steamboat Willie. It was instant fame. With all the attention Mickey was getting, Walt Disney decided to make him a partner named Minnie Mouse. She first made her appearance in Steamboat Willie. She later appeared in a comic strip along with Mickey. 1934 was the start of the Disney princesses. The first princess to be created was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. His next movies created were Pinocchio and Fantasia. After these wonderful creations, Walt Disney created the next princess. Her name was Cinderella. She would become one of the most popular princesses ever created. Mary Poppins, created in 1964, would become a great movie starring Julie Andrews. In 1967, Walt Disney created the movie The Jungle Book. In 1970, he created a popular movie about cats called The Aristocrats. Although Walt Disney died in 1966, his ideas for these movies were still published. After the death of Walt and his brother Roy, Disney Imagineering created many more princesses and movies. But one of Walt Disney's greatest accomplishments was Disney Channel, which is still popular today. Walt Disney will always be remembered not only for his creativity, but for his enjoyment of making others happy.